I wish I knew these lessons before starting my YouTube channel, but I'm happy that you clicked this video because I'm going to share all of these lessons with you. Number one, your first 10 to 20 subscribers will be your family and your closest friends. Number two, your next 10 to 15 subscribers will be your classmates who really like you, some of your Facebook and Instagram friends who really want to follow you and nothing more than that. Don't hide or try to hide the fact that you own a YouTube channel. You have to be proud about your own channel. I'm not asking you to spam people and send lots of video links every time you post a video, but it's important to own the fact that you have a channel and don't be embarrassed that you have one. Because initial days, I remember I used to hide the fact that I have a channel and if somebody used to get a notification of my channel or used to tell me that they saw one of my video or hey I think you're on YouTube right I used to feel deeply embarrassed I used to go red in my face and this is something I would like to change because if today somebody comes up to me and tells me oh I saw your YouTube channel I beam with pride be patient because it's a long journey Train your mind that this is a long run game. It's not a sprint, it's a marathon. Because if you don't train your mind like that, you'll be very likely to quit YouTube very soon. If you want short term gains and you have short term goals, please don't be on YouTube. Think big when you are on YouTube. Think about monetizing your channel, getting brand deals, promoting a product of your own, because that's very important. When you don't really get views in the short term, it's very likely that you would like to quit. But at this time, it's important to understand that what's in it for you in the long term. So it's important that you think big, think long term and manifest. Manifest the bounties of YouTube, the money you'll be getting, the free time in hand, your liberty to work whenever you want to and from wherever you want to. Manifest about it. So you will feel good about making your next video. You will feel happy about being on YouTube and you will create good content. Check your analytics, but don't be paranoid. I know every YouTuber is guilty of this, even I am. It's my guilty pleasure of looking at analytics several times in a day and refresh it only to see a few views to increase, sometimes loading some subscribers and that really spoils my mood. So it's important to keep a good check on analytics, but don't go mad over it. Sometimes you don't have control over analytics and it's important to understand that. Ask for feedback from your friends, family and your subscribers and try to take it positively. Now there are some feedback that you, uh, that are related to your physical appearance, that are some hate comments, you have to ignore them. But there are some feedbacks. There is feedback that is very, very constructive, comes from your community, comes from your closest friends and family, and make sure you work on that. One of them was, in the initial days, I did not have a mic. So generally I have a soft voice and it was hard for people to listen to me on the video. I think I was not a bit clear. So my sister told me that I need to buy a mic as soon as possible. And I did that. And then my husband told me that um, I do a lot of voiceovers. I should try making talking head videos and that would be great. So I decided to shift that thing. All the talking head videos were a little um, daunting. And um, even today when I sit down and make a talking head video like I'm doing today, it takes me time and it takes me time to warm up to the camera and everything. So do let me know if you like my talking head videos more or do you like the behind the scenes and lifestyle content more. If you need help related to YouTube growth, YouTube video ideas, it's good to look around YouTube and watch videos that really help you. But don't depend or I must say don't overly depend on videos because sometimes you fall into that trap of watching many videos in a row Actually, you spend the whole day watching videos and you don't take any action. So the, the best way is to watch few videos and then 
stop watching youtube and go make that video because i used to do the same and i used to watch so many youtube growth videos and with so much information on my in my hand i really didn't know what to do so it's better to take action stop this video and go make your first youtube video or your next youtube video if you have a channel bye